Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing Zone Alarm and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. 250 samples in total. These are executable files and we will be using these samples to see how well Zone Alarm does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment I will enable all of the protections and we will let Zone Alarm sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own after which we will run a system scan and if there's any samples remaining after that we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's any samples remaining after that we will then execute them and see if the real time protection can stop them. Let's go ahead and enable everything and we can see everything is now turned on so we will go ahead and let it sit for just a few moments. We've waited and so far nothing's popped up. Let's go ahead and double check our samples folder. Looks like there's still 250 in here and so at this point let's go ahead and start a scan. We will let this run and we will be back with the results. While scanning this message popped up multiple times so we will go ahead and close it. We can see that the scan did complete so we'll go ahead and click on close. And let's check our samples folder. We are down to 37 samples remaining. And so at this point let's go ahead and scan the samples folder directly. And it looks like it did not find anything additional but let's double check by Checking our samples folder, we're still at 37. At this point with the real-time protection enabled and all protections enabled, we're going to go ahead and execute the remaining samples and see if the real-time protection can stop them. After execution we drop down to 34 items remaining and so at this point we're going to go ahead and close everything and we will restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. After restart I ran a scan with Malwarebytes which came back with 80 results so we're going to go ahead and quarantine. I also ran a scan with MZSoft which came back clean, no results detected. Please be aware there was one sample that was not detected by Malwarebytes or MZSoft as well as it was not detected by Zone Alarm as well. You can take these results and draw your own conclusions but please keep in mind that this is just one type of test and Zone Alarm may perform differently in other types of tests. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, please go ahead and click that join button the subscribe button and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.